What's up guys, this is Nick here from Everything Tech and today what I got is a video talking about the Ditto Note 4 ROM for your Galaxy Note 2. So essentially I'm going to go over this Galaxy Note 4 ROM in this video and this is a Galaxy Note 2 as you can see right there. I got this custom leather back and as you can see this is that gray model they came out with a couple years back. But this ROM essentially just turns your, your Galaxy Note 2 into a Note 4. And I made a video on how to do that, like actually how to put it on. But I didn't make a video going in depth on the features and stuff. So that's what this video is about right here. But I'll leave a link down in the description and I'll annotate it right here on the screen for you guys to click to go see that video of how to do this. But essentially right here, we're just going to take a look at it. So let's go. So it's pretty cool that you can actually, we're powering the device up right now, it's pretty cool that you can actually get these features on a Galaxy Note 2 because this phone is pretty old, but, you know, it's very, very popular, sold a lot, and actually there was just a story that the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 saved the officer's life, somebody shot at him, an officer who had a Galaxy Note 2, the bullet lodged through the front of it, barely, it went through the back, but it barely hit him, so he survived, he would have died elsewhere, so that's a pretty cool little story, I know it's a tangent, but back to the ROM, Ditto Note 4 ROM, as you can see, it has this nice effect right here. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but it has that light. I don't know what it's called, light effect or something, but there you go. And you can see this looks just like a Galaxy Note 4. If you go through, just like it. And it's very, very smooth, but one problem I'm having with mine, I'm not sure if you guys installed this and you're having it with yours. There's my magazine on off to the left. But, um... It reboots itself once in a blue moon, but this is a beta version. Be aware of that. This is a beta version. I repeat that because beta versions means they're working on it. So going into settings, you guys can see that looks exactly what, like what you would get on a Note 4. Now, as you can see, they got sound, display, lock screen, festival effect. So you got these festival effects just like on the Galaxy Note 4. You could turn those on. You can change the notification panels right there as you can see it's got that nice white theming multi window it has all the works and if you go up in here it's got that modern um notification panel that you're used to seeing on the s4 and you know the galaxy note 4 further down we got floating messages we have auto view um transparency you can change transparency levels of those floating messages notification panel you can change all of those things, the available buttons, and rearrange them however you would like. We have S Pen, of course, S Pen is a Galaxy Note. And we have more motions and gestures now. Direct call, smart alert, mute pause, palm swipe to capture. So, palm swipe to capture, mute pause when you turn a device over, or you can face palm it like that. Smart alert, essentially, your device will vibrate when you pick it up to notify you about missed calls and messages. So you just pick it up, it'll vibrate, and you'll know. And pretty much that's about it. You got accounts, personalization, but this is a pretty simplified list. It's a lot of features on this ROM, though. And as you can see, you're going to be running 4.4.4 KitKat for now. I'm not sure if they're going to update it to Lollipop, but that's what you're going to get for right now. But it's very smooth, trust me. This is a very smooth ROM. It doesn't really need Lollipop to be smooth. And honestly, TouchWiz and Lollipop, as you can see, it has that. this has that uh, card UI effect on the um so if you open up apps it's got that card ui effect so i'm gonna open up contact i'm gonna open up a phone and you're gonna see it has that card ui effect let's do that again s planner let's go to gallery okay and you're gonna see it has that card ui effect pulling out the s pen as you can see we got the action memo it really works well just like got all the features just like the galaxy note 4 you can hit press this button right here on your pen to open this back up you got smart select image clip air command screen right where it takes a picture and you can write on the screen whatever you want that's kind of like the lg uh g3's features and it also has those uh those toolbox features i believe if you go up into here you'll see the toolbox right there that's something like you get on the uh, Galaxy S5. And I just enabled it. It doesn't seem like it's working. So that might be an issue right there. I'm not sure if the toolbox is working. But it also has that flicker feature where you bring the screen down. I'm sure you have to enable that as well. 
but it has uh you could like shrink the screen down to one side and use it with one hand but it's pretty much it like this galaxy note 4 ditto 4, note 4 rom dn4 i showed you a video on how to install this rom but basically you're going to get a note 4 experience here so if you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more rooting hacking anything about tech news all kinds of stuff that's what i do here i just whatever comes to my mind in tech like you know you you watching this video you love tech things come to your mind all the time about tech so whatever comes to my mind is what i'm gonna make a video about so anyway guys leave a thumbs up down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one comment if you have any questions and i'll be sure to reply to those catch you in the next one deuces